Keyshawn Hall, portal name, played at George Mason last season, played at UNLV the season before that. He was all A-10 last year, had some very good numbers, 16.6 points per game, 8.1 rebounds, 1.4 assists, 47% from the floor, 36% from three on four attempts per game. Also very good free throw shooter, 84% from the line. Uh, it's a big guard, like a real big guard, six foot seven, 250 pound guard. I think he's actually more of a wing in reality at his next stop. But uh, I mean, it's, there's not many players built six, seven, 250 that can put the ball on the floor and do some things that Keyshawn Hall can do. Oh, Keyshawn there's not. Hall, oh, there's not Gregory. Are there not? No, I'm, um... I was calling myself six seven two fifty, even though I, I haven't been in a long time. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. Understood. Uh, Ke- Keyshawn has a final four here. It's an interesting final four. Uh, this kid is a Cleveland, Ohio kid, and his final four are USC, Arkansas, UCF, and Michigan State. Uh, some things I'd like to point out about that final four are uh, Eric Musselman and John Calipari are two of the coaches in that final four. And then you have Michigan State. I don't know if there's a, a program in the country run more differently than Eric Musselman and John Calipari's programs than Michigan State is. You normally don't see lists that include those schools together. Now, not saying Thomas hasn't gone head to head with Kentucky in the past for high school kids, but at least as far as guys who are going to transfer, this is not exactly the prototypical guy Michigan State would be after. And then you come to find out per Justin Thin that Michigan State hasn't actually offered this kid. There's a, there's not a committable offer out for Keyshawn Hall, yet Keyshawn Hall is telling people Michigan State's in his final four. So what's going on here? D- does Michigan State actually want Keyshawn Hall or not? We can't portal right if we tried. Like, just <sighs> why? Why, God, I'm not your strongest soldier. Literally cut it out. Um, yeah, so the, there, there was like, act, there was for sure contact made, right? Like this isn't just like Keyshawn Hall making this up or anything like that. There was a mutual reaching out of like both parties to gauge like interest, probably maybe try to set up a visit or something like that. Um, but yeah, just, I, I really don't know what to make of that. Cause to be honest with you, like, why would he put us on the list if, you know, there wasn't enough. So I, that's a whole different situation. I don't want to get into, to be honest with you, but, the, but just Keyshawn Hall as a player, um, you know, one for his like size and what I, I think he's more of like a, a wing, like point forward ish type player. Um, and that's not like reflective of his passing. I just think that he's, he likes to have the ball in his hands a lot. And for, you know, I would say for his like big guard size, like he rebounds incredibly well. Like he's had rebounding games of 10, 10, 12, 15, 10, 13, 12, 11, like 13. Like he averaged over eight boards a game, um, which is incredible. I think he's a, a great rebounder for his size. I think he gets to the line a lot. He uses his size uh, to get to the line a lot. Um, and he's good from the free throw line. Um, he's also, he's got like a little he's definitely got some tunnel vision going on uh when he gets the ball and like has kind of like this thing where he likes to, he wants to go to the hoop he wants to go to the hoop and he wants to like overpower you or get fouled basically um but i think he's a really good player um i think that he is a player that if he did want to come to michigan state it's for sure a take for michigan state like i don't think that's a an argument and you know i think that Keyshawn Hall i think is a better passer then he gets credit for, and this is this is like random, but I actually heard about Keyshawn Hall a long, long time ago when he was in high school. Uh, he played in like the Cleveland area, and like I just I heard about him via like social media or something like that. Ended up looking at his film, and he was like a heavier set kid. He lo- if you go look at a before picture of him, he's lost probably like fifty pounds since he started college basketball. Like actually, uh, you can't even recognize him. Uh, but I thought that he was more of like a point forward and I thought he could pass the ball, but he doesn't necessarily willing to pass the ball, I guess. And I don't know how to decipher between that, but there's nothing in my head that when I close my eyes and I'm like, Keyshawn Hall seems like an Eric Musselman player. Like he seems like he would play from us. Like they seem like a match made in heaven. Uh, with that said, I do want Michigan state to get him if we can. 
Yeah, I I like the tape. Uh, I'm not super familiar with this game, so I won't act like an expert. The numbers are good. The film that I saw, uh, he, he is, in my opinion, the best target, the, the just the best player Michigan State has targeted for the wing spot. I know they've they've thrown around Fiddler, they've thrown around Hadley, they've thrown around Keyshawn Hall. I think Keyshawn Hall is the best of the bunch that I have seen. Um, I think the offer list reflects that also. To, again, to be clear, like if Eric Musselman and John Calipari want him, talented kid there that you believe in um do you think like if i don't know it's it's weird to me that he is listing them final four if he doesn't have a committable offer but maybe that speaks to some of the concerns with Keyshawn hall here right like yeah and that and that was new information to me um now there was a situation last year at george mason where like they were he was like accused of sitting out on purpose because he was unhappy basically. Um, and it's, this is a kid who's been to a lot of schools, like even in high school, went to different high schools, one year at UNLV transferred one year, at George Mason transfers again. Um, I, I, I personally at not, and not like, Oh, like I'm sticking away from this kid. Um, you know, there's different reasons for that people transfer. Uh, you never really truly know. But there was conversation and pretty loud conversation that I saw via social media when he was at George Mason that there was issues with like, I don't know, like him and the coach not being on the same page him, you know, uh, allegations of him quitting on his teammates, um, which is like, oh, my God, that's there you go. That's a perfect match made in heaven. I'm sure him and Tom Izzo will get along just great. Like, <laughs> Uh, so I think that's where some of the, I don't know, maybe hesitancy comes from the Michigan State side. But at the same time, you know, we're in no position to turn down talent. Yeah. He sounds like a prototypical Eric Musselman guy, though, right? Like this guy would have well, fit in perfectly on Arkansas last year. <laughs> yeah. I, that's kind of why I think he is a, a must guy. Yeah, I, I think of those final four, I'd be surprised if he doesn't end up at USC. Um, I currently have a take that Keyshawn Hall actually doesn't have a committable offer from any of these schools. And he just he has a final four out that's not real. I respect that for what it's worth. I think it, it might be the case. Um, yeah, look, I we don't know the kid. I don't like speculating on character when we don't know. What I will say is like people that I trust in the industry that I have followed for years – uh, have tweeted things along the lines of like, this would be a match disaster. Uh, Keyshawn Hall and Tom Izzo could not be less alike. That would be horrific if it happened. Um, I don't know what that means. I would assume it has something to do with the fact that he's jumped around a different school every single year since he's ever been playing competitive basketball. Obviously, rumors of sitting out are not great. Uh, he doesn't strike me as the happiest kid. <laughs> like, just just based on career path to this point, like kind of seems like a guy who's never been happy in his life uh, at any destination he's found his way to. So yeah, I, I would probably avoid this one. I think that the player is great. Basketball abilities are great. Would probably avoid this one. I think that's what Tom Izzo's already doing. Hey, look at that card. I'm giving Tom Izzo some credit. Do I look like Keyshawn Hall? Ah, <laughs> I was going to say a little bit, but you asked me to stop comparing you to every light skinned person with a chin strap. Yeah, I, I did. There was, there was a lot of also chatter on social media that, uh, you know, basically along the lines of there's a picture of Keyshawn Hall and people tweeting at me talking about need Carter. Keyshawn Hall and Frankie Fiddler play one-on-one -on -one three dribbles to 21. Who wins? Yeah, Keyshawn drags them. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. All right. Does he play at USC, you think? Oh, yeah. I think that. I, honestly, I think he played at USC, and I think he puts up numbers, too. Okay. I'm going to hold strong that, like, like actually, you know, I, I bet he ends up at Kentucky now. I bet he's Mark Pope's first dad. That'd be hilarious, actually. <laughs> That'd be so funny. That'd uh, actually be good. That, I, I would give Pope credit for that. Well, they, remember Marcus Adams? We did videos on him last offseason. Marcus Adams was just, like, never happy. He committed to Gonzaga, and then he committed to BYU. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kansas, BYU, Gonzaga, all back to back to back, and he's just, like, never played real basketball, and then he got kind of chubby. Yeah. Uh, that's I, – I think that's this guy. I think that's that's this guy. And uh, <laughs> my guess is he doesn't end up at any of his final four listed schools. That is my belief here. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know 
that we are presented by my bookie. Carter, tell the people about my bookie. My bookie is the official sports book of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, my bookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. All you have to do is use promo code Sleepers. That's promo code Sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness. Maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at MyBookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code SLEEPERS.